entering the cage here with the Kyrgyzstani flag is Ashurbayev Nor Sultan in the men's junior bantamweight division. It is the 16th finals of today. There will be a lot of fights to get to the finals in the junior bantamweight division. And looking to score a place in the eighth finals will be Kyrgyzstan's Ashurbaev Nor Sultan in the blue here. And for those of you in attendance at home, if you'd like to keep up with these fighters, exclusive content, interviews, for instance, you might want to check out the Instagram page of the IMMAF's uh, page. And that would be IMMAFED. So I'm fed at Instagram. And you can find links there to the YouTube channel for YouTube exclusives and also smooth comp links to keep up with the brackets if that is what you fancy. We're seeing here Ashurbaev Nor Sultan from Kyrgyzstan about to enter the cage. And behind him in the red is, of course, Christian Kowalczyk from Poland. And as I said, Poland known for everything in martial arts. Basically, you can't pinpoint one thing they excel at because they, in fact, excel at everything. Basically, they have their Muay Thai champions of the world. They have their uh, grappling champions of the world. A heavy, heavy representation in the ADCC from Poland. Heavy representation in the Muay Thai World Championships from Poland over the years. We have seen that at the top of professional MMA, they in fact have had several champions, as I've mentioned. We are about to kick things off here. It is the junior men's bantamweight division in the 16th finals of the day. In the red, Christian Kowalczyk out of Poland and Ashurbaev Norsultan out of Kyrgyzstan in the blue. It is the Kyrgyzstani who takes center. And the Polish look at the switch stances here, not let his opponent get a read off of him. And the Kyrgyzstani goes instantly for a takedown, looking to take the fight to the ground immediately. With a body lock here. The Polish doing a great job of keeping it standing here with that overhook. Just not letting the Kyrgyzstani level change get access to those hips. And you see both of these gentlemen just matching each other's height. Of course, the Kyrgyzstani looking to gain an advantage and level change. But let's go. Great job from the Polish. Very aware there against the cage. Here's the Polish who's backing up against the cage, looking to faint, get something off the Kyrgyzstani in the blue. Ooh, it is Ashurbaev going for the takedown again. But Poland's Kowalczyk not looking to get flattened out. Things might get much worse from there. He's trying to keep himself upright as much as possible, letting the Kyrgyzstani here work as much as possible for that takedown to earn it. Sure, by Evan Nor Sultan here doing a great job of gaining access to those knees. Might he get his hips past those knees? It will be much more difficult for the Polish to make his way back up to his feet again. And indeed, he does gaining access to those hips. Might he trap a arm, a far side arm? He is looking for it. It's hard to see from here, but he might be, as we are only seeing one arm in action here from the Polish. This is a dangerous position here for the Polish. He only has one arm to defend with. Not much room to move here with the cage against his back. Doing a great job though, keeping his legs in, and occupying the, uh, the Kyrgyzstani, not letting him set his weight, trying to just keep things moving, find some room to move. But it is really difficult here, of course. 
as Nor Sultan from Kyrgyzstan. He's making it really rough here on the Polish Christian Kowalczyk. Seems like he's let go of that bottom arm, yep. There you have it, first round in the books. Hard to say who won that one, but I have to, of course, favorite. I have to forfeit favorite for the Kyrgyzstani as he got the takedown and essentially he had the most things going for him. Not much damage dealt from both of these gentlemen, but we saw the Polish Christian Kowalczyk with his back against the cage or against the mat the most, which would have to be worth something in the judge's eyes, of course. Kowalczyk not necessarily getting a rhythm in here in the first round. It's going to be tough now in the second to get a read on the feet, but also keep in mind the takedown defense against Kyrgyzstan's Ashurbaev, who did an excellent job at timing and changing levels to gain access to the Polish hips and getting him to the ground eventually. Second round. The Polish needs to convince more with those feints. A little more punches to the body, perhaps. Make the uh, Kyrgyzstan, uh, Serbayev, a little bit wary of shooting, giving him a reason not to shoot. A bit more damage to the body would be beneficial for Christian to add to that takedown defense. And it is, in fact, the Kyrgyzstani on the hips again on the single leg. Gets the back here immediately. Needs to be careful not to get tipped over by Christian Kowalczyk from Poland. And it is the Polish Kowalczyk looking to keep his back against the cage and his weight back on his feet. Not let the Kyrgyzstani put his weight on his hands, which would render his hands useless in defending. And you can see here, he's very keen on using those to defend actually, which is a very smart move getting assistance from the cage there. Nice little switch there from the Polish. Getting, getting to face the Kyrgyzstani much more in his favor in defending the takedowns. And the Kyrgyzstani here relentless with his takedown attempts. Just really keen on getting this fight to the ground. The Polish Kowalczyk is doing an excellent job here, keeping it on his feet. Kyrgyzstan getting a warning there for grabbing the cage. Nice switch there from the Polish Kowalczyk, looking to press his opponent up against the cage. Nice knee there to the body from Kowalczyk, looking to drain his man in the Kyrgyzstan Ashurbaev. And it's Kowalczyk with a takedown. Just excellent, straightly, immediately goes for grabbing access to the knees and looking to advance up over the knees, of course, and flatten out his opponent. It's Kowalczyk here on top in the red. Really tough position here for Ashurbaev, but he's gonna need those knees getting closer to his chest to be able to move and get back up to his feet. And the Polish Kowalczyk not necessarily having great access to the knees at the moment. Might be a little space here for Kyrgyzstan to retract those knees to his chest and start making his way up. But in fact, it is only 10 seconds left and he might just be eating up the clock here, which is absolutely a valid way of making it to the next round. Not wasting too much energy. There you have it. The second round in the books, very even round. You'd have to give the first one to the Kyrgyzstani and the second one a little bit more even, but perhaps that final takedown could have been in the favor of Team Poland's Christian Kowalczyk. Really hard to say.
entering the third round, the third and final round here. Are we in the junior men's bantamweight division? The IMF World Championships in Belgrade, Serbia. We're seeing complaints here from Kyrgyzstan's Shurbayev. Not, not sure what that's about. We are about to get started. The third and final round of this bout. Poland's Christian Kowalczyk taking on Kyrgyzstan's Ashurbayev Nor Sultan. Pretty even fight this far. First one you'd have to give to Kyrgyzstan. Second one a bit more even, but perhaps a little more favor favoring the Polish a little more. Third and final round. Well, we see energies diminishing here. Not at all thus far. It is the Polish in the red taking center, staying in movement, keeping movement, moving, not letting the Kyrgyzstani get a read on him, and trying to get out of his line of sight, of course, because the Kyrgyzstani thus far has been able to capitalize on his punches and get access to his hips by level changing, and there you have it again. Putting pressure on the Polish, Christian Kowalczyk is assured by Evan Norsultan out of Kyrgyzstan. Looking to get this fight to the ground with success so far. A little less in the second round, but here we see him work for it again. Might be convinced if he can keep it there, he will get the decision in his favor. And it is Kyrgyzstan's assured by of Nor Sultan keeping the pressure here on the Polish Kowalczyk, looking to get the fight to the ground and secure an eighth finals spot tomorrow. He seems to have access to the hips, and there you go. Double leg takedown straight to the mat. Lifts his man, but Kowalczyk very persistent on keeping it on the feet. Doing an excellent job here of not letting the Kyrgyzstani settle his weight on top of him. Keeping things in movement, in motion rather. And making it hard for the Kyrgyzstani to set his weight. And Kovalchik for his takedown of his own here. Let's see if he can make it. He needs to pull the Kyrgyzstani off of the cage though. Will be pretty hard here. Considering his posture won't be able to generate that much force but he might go for the trip here and anyways nope changing to the double leg and up again to the body lock beautiful chain wrestling here from Poland's Kowalczyk gaining access to the back here let's see what he can do with it only 40 seconds left he might need to show the judges something more to be able to take that spot in the eighth finals tomorrow some damage wouldn't be too bad to show the judges but he's looking to take it to the ground only 20 seconds remaining will be a tough task against kyrgyzstan's nor sultan who's doing an excellent job here of def defending the takedown it's going to be hard five seconds left encountering is kyrgyzstan's nor sultan oh little too little too late very nice though. Excellent display of grappling from both of these gentlemen. It'll be hard to decide who gets this decision. I'm keen to, I'm inclined to lean towards the um, Kyrgyzstani Nor Sultan, who overall did a bit more with the takedowns in the first round. It was a bit more even though. In the second round, could have been more towards the, the Polish, but pretty even there. And in the third round, even, even still. And not an easy task here for the judges, or perhaps it could have been easy because of the takedowns, which might have convinced the judges. He did in fact have a lot of top control which might have weighed a lot in his favor when deciding who was winning this fight. He 
We'll see. Will it be Poland? Will it be Kyrgyzstan? Grabbing that eighth final spot against the Czech Republic. It seems to be that the judges are having a hard time to decide. Very easy to understand, of course, as this fight was pretty even. And of course, for those of you sitting at home wanting to follow the action more, you could follow on Instagram, and that would be the International MMA Federation's Instagram, and that is I-M-M-A-F-E-D. You'll find links there to the YouTube exclusives. You'll find links to smooth comp brackets. If you want to keep up to date with the actual brackets, you'll find specific brackets for the countries or find matches for your country or certain fighters who you'd like to see compete today. So that is I-M-M-A-F-E-D on Instagram for the YouTube exclusives and links to the smooth comp brackets. What a fight. Kyrgyzstan against Poland. Excellent display of grappling. Would have liked to see a bit more of the striking elements of the Kyrgyzstani. But as we've said, this is in fact a tournament and you would be wise to save as much energy as you can to make it to the finals. It is in fact four or five days of constant competing, which is a tough and tough task and a tall order for anybody. And a split decision, in fact, goes to Kyrgyzstan's Ashurbayev Nor Sultan. Excellent display of wrestling, grappling, ground control. Of course, from both gentlemen, but enough for Ashurbayev Nor Sultan to make it to the eighth finals against Team Czech Republic. Who was 